Hey everyone, Armando here from Mondo's Exotic Zoo. And today we're in our bedroom. We've got a lot of things in here. We've got Steve's enclosure. We've got our future gecko wall over here. It's going to be a big wall of gecko enclosures. That's going to be awesome. But today we're setting up our Mexican black king snake. So Margarita's in here. While I cleaned out her enclosure, we got everything nice and cleaned out. I'm going to show you guys how we set her up. <laughs> So I have her water dish here. We're going to put that in the back. I have a nice heavy water dish, pretty heavy. And I like to set it down at the bottom because she'll try to go under it if she can. Like if you set this down first and you put that in there, they'll try to go under it and they could potentially hurt themselves if the dish is heavy enough. So I set that first. I usually set this first too. This is her hide. And the reason I do that is so it can be like a little, little burrow in there for her. You like this to be a few inches thick, at least, at least like two inches really. I don't want to go too crazy, but so that she can like get underneath it. I like to be able to see where they're at just a little bit. So like this is enough for her to, for her to burrow and feel safe, but I can still kind of see the aspen moving a little bit. So I know where she's at. too much asking and then I have a humid hide because Mexican black king snakes they're they're from Mexico and Arizona so they like a lot of humidity they like 40 to 60 percent humidity really and you don't want to have like the whole some people will keep the whole enclosure humid but snakes can get like scale rot and things like that if the whole thing is humid so I use this humid hide it's nice and tight she can get in there and curl up and feel safe in there. Gives her another hide. Take out even a little bit more aspen because now that I had to move some of that, it's a lot. All right, I use this little tiny piece of wood in here. I like to always have a piece of wood for them to rub on and stuff. It helps them with shedding. But really it's also like if she's not out, which doesn't happen with her, but if she wasn't out, I'd put her mouse right there for her so she could come out and find it. All right, so. We went through the enclosure stuff. This is basically how you would set it up. And then also I have, I usually have some towels that I think I accidentally used to clean. But I normally I set them on top of the, the lid as well. Alright. So now at this point I'll go ahead and hopefully we'll get her out. Um, Mexican black king snakes, they're really like voracious eaters. They're known for being like good hunters and all of that. Whoa, look at her. She was up here. That's crazy. You guys missed it, but she was up here trying to get out. So here's my little girl. She's probably scared now. See how she's coiling up? She's definitely a little scared. But I'm going to get her out. There you go. Hello, my love. Margarita, my love. I love her. I hold her a lot. I talk to her. And I tell her that I love her and that she's my everything. <laughs> and she feels heavy. It's crazy because she just recently started eating um hoppers so she like feels nice and dense but yeah you can see she's like really she's holding on to me she's doing great when i first got her she would dive out of my hands like dive she just wanted to get to the ground but now you can see she hangs out with me and this just comes from just every day every chance i could i would take her out and spend time with her hang out with her now here she goes she's gonna go into her enclosure so yeah, you see how she's coiled up? She's definitely a little bit freaked out, but I've handled her so much that even when she's freaked out, like I can I can still get her and she calms down when she's in my hands, which is pretty awesome because when I got her, I was definitely scared of being bitten like anyone else. I was, I was scared of snakes and so I started getting snakes to get over my fear. And so she's pretty cool, like just handling her every day. She's been pretty calm. So it's a few things that make them awesome. It's like, obviously you can see she's black. That's pretty cool. And she's got like a little bit of an iridescence to her. So some of you snake people, you guys know, they call them poor man's indigo snakes. Cause the indigo snake is like a well-known black snake with iridescence. 
but I really like them a lot. They're really cool. She's stunning. And like I said, they like to hunt a lot. They eat like crazy. So it makes them cool in captivity because she's always out. Like more times than not, I come in the room and she's, she's out looking around, trying to see if maybe she's going to get fed. And it's really cool. And their name King Snake comes because they can eat other snakes. It's insane. They, they're so strong that they can eat a snake that's the same size as them. Like, they can get a four foot rattlesnake and they can eat it. This is actually one of the ways you can get used to handling your snakes. Is when they're super curious like this and they try to climb out. You put your hand right there and you let them climb out on you. <laughs> this is how I first started holding her when I was still nervous to get her. But now I just use my hook and that works perfectly fine. But you can see this, this is crazy. Like, a lot of people don't think you can kind of have a little bit of a relationship with a snake. But <laughs> she trusts me and we're, we're, we're kind of friends a little bit. <laughs> so, thanks everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed her little setup here. And subscribe and follow along for more.